welcome back guys hope you are doing great and today's in this video i'm gonna show you the project which i've been working for a quite long time so this is a project you can build your own music application just by using the next.js along with typescript and using the tailwind css for the modern materialistic design and using the superbase for the backend the superbase is the alternative for firebase and it's completely user friendly and we are using the Stripe payment integrations to manage the membership role over here, All right? So we are using the subscription plan over here. So user needs to subscribe uh, for $10 to listen the ads free music. All right. So it took me a quite long time to build this project. The reason because I was learning the Next.js and TypeScript along with the Superbase. So thanks to Code with Antonio for his project because I learned a lot from his project. So I drop his link in the description. So please go ahead and watch all of his project and you can learn a quite a lot. All right. So this is the exact same design which we've been uploaded already in our channel. So I'm going to use the same project to redesign it and integrate some backend actions with it and along with the Stripe payment gateway and everything. And more of it, we are going to use the Next.js along with the TypeScript to work in this project. All right. So without wasting your time, so let me explain the project which I've been talking about. So over here, you can see this project is successfully deployed along with the, um, the Stripe payment gateway. Well, you can see we have the, you can see the list of songs which is playing added in our super base. Okay, so I can listen to any music, only the user is already a subscribed member, right? So in this case, I already logged in with a subscribed member. So if I click this, for instance, if I click the songs, which has already been loaded, so I can see if I start clicking it, it starts playing the music. And I can adjust the volumes and all those things. So the main part is the, the playing the music and adjusting the volume and everything. It's cool, it's super cool handed by the, the TypeScript, right? Then if I click the search options, so that loaded the nice and loading animation and I can search for any songs over here. For instance, if I say uh, scat or something, so you can see it, it's trying to match the uh, term over here in the URL. You can see it's it's basically searching the songs by using the title. So if I type any other, so for instance, if I'm typing something else, which is not there, so it gives us the no songs forms. So we need to make some tuning in this UI because it, it's not a complete project. We need to add a few more functions. But anyways, the major functionalities and everything, it's been successfully implemented over here. All right. And if I jump to the favorites, and you can see these are the list of favorite songs which I already um, uh, liked over here. For instance, if I want to remove the songs from the favorite, all I have to do is to click this and that song will be removed from the favorites too. All right. And if you wish to add any other songs to the favorites list, for instance, if I want to add this and if I want to add this and you can see we have a cool toast animations, which is uh, which we ha have done by using a very cool uh, package over here. Right. And if I jump into the favorites, you can see the songs which is already been listed out over there. And if I click the artist, you can see these are the artists which I have added inside this uh, web application, which can be done only by the super admin. In this case, my profile ID is the super admin. Only myself can add the artist and add the songs and the other clients and everything. They can just listen to the music. So if you if they want to listen, they need to. Um, subscribe our package they need to subscribe to listen to the ad free music okay so and this is completely responsive for instance if you see this is completely responsive totally including the music player and including the home screen everything is completely responsive all right so if i wish to add a new mu music or an artist so all i have to do is to click this so this is going to give me uh, a pop-up where I can add the name description and choose the image and all these details and everything and if I wish to add the same music I can choose songs name song image file audio file and which artist uh, created this song so I can choose the artist from the list of artists below over here all right and so to check out my uh, profile the the subscription profile so all I have to do is to click the account so that will takes me to the stripe custom portal where I can uh, literally maintain uh, all the subscriptions plans and everything over here. See what is the subscription plan that we are using and what is the card that we use and what is the email ID and what is the status for the premium plan which we choose. So we can customize literally everything over here. 
right? Still, this project having small, small bugs and small, small UI fixes here and there. So don't worry. So the major of the work is completely done. So I don't want to take more of your time to bring this project to you guys. So it already took me a long time to prepare this project. All right. So anyways, maybe in the future upgrades and out here and there, we will definitely fix this project. All right. So the major functionality of the everything, it's cool. It's super cool and it's working perfectly. And if I wish to log out, so let me log out this. Now I am totally logged out and you can see we, uh, if I click this, that will take me to uh, authenticate myself. Either I can authenticate with my GitHub or I can authenticate, I can sign up by using the GitHub or create a custom email address. And all these things have a complete validations and uh, every validations are coolly handed over here. For instance, if I click sign up, sign in, and if I choose any one of my email address, for instance, something like this, and if I click sign in, and you can see invalid login credentials because that account which is not there and the password or anything whatever i entered it's totally wrong and if i want to click forget your password so if i click forget your password i can uh type the email address and that will send the uh reset link to reset the password over here all right so if i want to sign in uh, so let me click a sign up over here and let me create a temporary email so temp email let me generate a temp email over here it's taking some time so let's wait all right so i think this email i already added let me try to refresh one more time or let loads a temp email for something else let me open this another email okay let me use this email now so over here i'm going to give this email because i'm already in the sign up and i'm going to give a password a sample at one two three and if i click sign up and you can see that it's giving me check your email for the confirmation link so i got a temp email over here so if i go here you can see no reply mail app from the super base. So if I click that and that is going to give me a sign up link to confirm my email address. So if I confirm that, if I click this, open it and that is going to open my verification token. And this is the problem I've been facing right now. I don't know. Uh, it's in the local. It's completely working fine. But when I click that sign up email, it is being that the application is being crashed out. I'm not sure why. But anyways, if I log in uh, separately, you can see. If I log in separately, so Spotify, see, it's, it's, it's getting into the application, but it's getting crashed again. I'm not sure why it's happening, but anyways, we will fix this issue for sure in the future. Right now, this is the application which we are going to build. But in the local, I'm not sure why it's, it's, it's been crashing every time, but, but in the local, it's working perfectly fine. So every functionalities and every features, it's working fine. And even if you are not signed in or not uh, uh, subscribed yet, so it will ask you to log in and uh, uh, subscribe the plan, premium plan yet over here. All right. So, so let's build this project and let's fix all these issues and everything during the build together. So I'm going to launch this as a series of projects because, you know, this will take a long time to complete and upload the project as a single video. So I'm going to break this project like layer uh, frame like a day by day series. So, and anyways, without, without any delay, I'm definitely going to apply this video. And within few, within two days, this, the series will get started because I've been recording, still recording and trying to figure out what is the issue over here, because I don't want to waste any more time of you guys. And we are planning to launch a few more series of courses in the meanwhile, instead of keeping you waiting for the full stack projects, I'm going to launch a few, few uh, courses by a day series every day we're going to launch a few content of a course and we are going to learn a lot and lots through this channel right and thank you for the love and support and if you haven't subscribed our channel so please hit the subscribe button and without wasting your time anymore i'm going to launch this project as soon as possible all right so thank you i'll see you in the next video